Hello everyone, for this video, we're going to discuss our 22nd lesson, which is the seepage force. So for this video, we're only going to discuss the seepage force per unit volume of soil. So this will be brief. Let's start. All right, in our previous discussions, we showed the effect of seepage tama doon sa effective stress at any point in a layer of soil. No, So we already concluded na if it's upward uh, seepage, no, ang nangyayari class, yung effective stress is uh, bumababa. No? And if it's downward seepage, no, it increases the effective stress. So, oftentimes class, no, ina-express din natin class yung tinatawag nating seepage force. No? So, ina-express natin yung seepage force per unit volume of soil. Alright, so class, ganito, for this discussion, no, mag-consider tayo class ng point doon sa um, natin, soil dun sa tank natin, no, this is without seepage, tama? So, class, i-consider natin itong point C. So, this point, this is Z uh, below point A, tama? So, class, di ba dito sa point C, we already determined na um, yung effective stress niya dyan, class, ay Z gamma water. Tama? Sa mga previous discussions natin, we already determined that, na yung effective stress natin dito sa C ay uh, Z uh, gamma prime, alright? So, class, yun ay stress, tama? Yung Z gamma prime na yun. So, class, kung gusto nating makuha yung force doon, di ba, ang effective stress kasi class, stress yan, so, kilonewton per meter squared yan. So, kung gusto mo na maging force yan, i-multiply mo siya dun sa cross-sectional area. So, in this case, class, let's say dito sa C, yung cross-sectional area kung saan nandito yung C, no, yan class ay, uh, let's say, yung cross-sectional area ng tank. So, let's say, yung cross-sectional area ng tank is A. No, so, class, kapag minultiply natin yung effective stress natin at C na Z uh, gamma prime by A, no, so, yung makukuha natin, class, is yung effective force dito sa point C. So, yung effective force natin dito sa point C, let's say, class na yan ay P sub 1 prime. Alright? So, sabihin natin na ito ay equation 9.10. To show the direction of the effective force P sub 1 prime, look at figure 9.8A. No? So, ito yung class. Alright, so class yung effective force P sub 1 prime natin, which is equal to Z gamma prime A, class yung direction yan ay pababa. Alright, kasi class ang effective force galing lang din yan sa effective stress. Ang effective stress natin, kumbaga, yan class ay self-weight nung, ano nung soil particles natin. No? So, that's why pababa yan. Alright, ngayon class, uh, i-consider natin ngayon class yung upward seepage. No class, kung maalala mo, kapag may upward seepage tayo class, yung nakocompute natin class na effective stress at point C ay ito. Yung Z gamma prime minus IZ gamma water. Ngayon kapag minultiply natin yung class by the cross-sectional area A, ang mangyari dyan, it will become an effective uh, force then no at point C kapag may upward seepage. So kung i-compare mo class itong effective stress na to na may upward seepage at yung effective stress natin or effective force rather kapag uh, walang seepage class may makikita ka diyan class na may nadagdag or may nabawas na na term no. So plus dito sa walang seepage meron tayong ano dito Z gamma prime A. So dito sa uh, may C page na upward, meron din tayo dyan class Z gamma prime A, no? nakafactor out lang yung A. So, dito class, merong nabawas na IZ gamma water A. So, class, itong nabawas na ito, na IZ gamma water A, yan actually class yung C page force. Okay, so yan yung C page force natin class. Ha? So, eto class, no, isinulat lang natin dito yung P sub 2 prime. So, ito class yung effective force no kapag may upward C page. So, ito nga yun. So, kapag kinuha natin class yung difference nung um, effective force natin uh, kapag walang seepage, okay, tapos yung effective force natin kapag may seepage, plus ang makukuha natin doon class ay ito, yung IZ gamma water A. So, in this case class nga, binawasan niya yung effective force natin. Tama, binawasan niya yan class because of seepage. So, nagkaroon ng decrease, no? At yung decrease nga na yun class, yun yung tinatawag na seepage force. Pero class, if it's downward, ano naman, if it's downward seepage naman class, sa halip na uh, dinidecrease niya, class ang ginagawa niya naman, ini-increase niya naman. So, yung increase class dun sa uh, effective force natin because of um, up, 
downward C page, class uh, yung decrease niya or yung increase niya class is yung IZ gamma water A. So, same lang yan class. No, mapa um, upward man or mapa downward yung C page natin class, same lang class yung um, effective force. No, kumbaga magkaiba lang sila ng, ano, ng effect. Yung isa, uh, binabawasan niya yung effective force natin, yung isa naman, dinadagdagan niya. Alright, so yung decrease or yung increase dun sa uh, effective force natin, no, because of seepage class, yun yung seepage force. Alright. Alright, so class, kung gusto nating ma-determine yung seepage force per unit volume, kailangan nating i-divide yung seepage force na nakuha natin doon sa volume ng soil na nagpo-contribute doon sa effective force. So class, ang kinoconsider natin na, na point is yung point C. Tama? So, class yung volume no na nagko-contribute class yung volume ng soil na nagko-contribute doon sa effective force natin class is yung yung height niya na z no at saka class yung cross sectional area na a so that will be the volume z at saka yung a z times a so i-divide natin ngayon class yun ako natin na seepage force na i z gamma water times a doon sa volume natin na z times a so as you can see here class ma-cancel dito yung z at saka yung a No, so, ito na class yung formula natin sa pagdetermine ng seepage force per unit volume ng soil. So, ito ay I gamma water. Okay, wherein yung I dito class, yan ay head loss over the the uh, distance between the, the two points kung saan mo kinuha yung head loss. Tama, times yung gamma water. Yung gamma water naman, yung unit weight lang yan ng water. Alright, so class, itong formula na ito na I gamma water, this is the same both for... Um, upward C page at saka downward C page. No? So, yan class yung ano natin, formula para dun sa C page force per unit volume. No? So, class from this discussions, we can conclude na yung C page force natin per unit volume ng soil is I gamma water and in isotropic soils, the force acts in the same direction as the direction of flow. So, itong statement na, na to class, this is true for flow in any direction, mapa upward man or mapa downward na direction no, nung seepage natin. So, ito class ha, yung formula natin for seepage force per unit volume. Alright. Alright. For sample problem number one, consider the upward flow of water through a layer of sand in a tank as shown in figure 9.10. So, meron tayo dito class tank na merong layer of sand. Ito yung sand natin. And subjected ito class sa upward seepage. So, for the sand, the following are given. Void ratio equal to 0.52 and specific gravity equal to 2.67. So, for letter A, we are asked here to calculate the total stress for water pressure and effective stress at points A and B. So, point A natin nandito, point B natin nandito. And for letter B, what is the upward seepage force per unit volume of soil? Alright, so dito muna tayo sa letter A. So, calculate natin class yung mga stresses natin at point A at point B. So, kung mag start tayo class dun sa total stress, class kailangan natin uh, sa computation ng total stress yung saturated unit weight nung soil natin. So, in this case, hindi siya given. So, we have to solve yung saturated unit weight nung soil natin with this given. No, meron tayong void ratio at specific gravity. So, class, pwede natin gamitin yung formula natin for gamma sat na ganito. So, G sub S plus E times gamma water over 1 plus E. Where in yung gamma water, 9.81 lang yan, kilo newton per meter cube. So, isubstitute natin yung mga given natin, class. At ang lalabas dito, class, ay 20.59 kilo newton per meter cube. Alright, so actually, may isa pa tayong kailangan dito para doon naman sa pore water pressure, since kung mag start tayo dito sa point A, kailangan natin class yung um, height ng piezometer na i-attach natin dito sa point A. So, in this case, walang pinakita na piezometer na in-attach dito. Pero kung mag attach tayo class ng piezometer dito sa point A, ang mangyari class, yung height ng tubig na kailangan natin class, ano siya ha, yung magiging level ng tubig mo class, above siya dito ha. Okay, so alam naman na natin yan. So, ang kailangan kasi natin para dun sa pore water pressure is yung height ng tubig na tataas kapag nag-attach ka ng piezometer dito sa point A. So, yung height na yun class will just be itong 1 plus 0.7 at saka yung um, height pa ng pagtaas niya dito. Tama? So, ano kasi ha? Higher than the level nitong tubig na to, yung magiging level ng tubig sa piezometer attached dito sa point A. Ha? So, kailangan natin i-compute yun. 
itong level ng tubig na to. Ito ay difference class no nung head nung point A natin at saka nitong point na to. Tama? So katulad lang din ng ginagawa natin class, pwede mong gamitan niya ng proportion na yung head loss between this point at saka point B, uh, given kasi yan, nakalagay na 1.5. Tapos, i-divide mo lang yan, class, dun sa distance between itong point na to at between point B. So, that will be 2. So, 1.5 over 2, equal lang siya, class, doon sa um, head loss nitong point na to, papunta dito sa point A. So, yun nga yung height na to, yung kinukuha natin, over yung distance between this point at point A, which is 1. So, kapag kinuha natin, class, yung yung height na kailangan natin dito, that will just be 1.5 over 2 times 1. Tama? So, i-dinerecho na, na kasi yun dun sa pour water pressure natin. Mamaya, papakita ko sa iyo. So, mag-start muna tayo dun sa uh, total stress at point A. So, yung total stress at point A will just be uh, manggagaling dito sa soil na to at saka yung tubig no, above point A. So, mag-start tayo dun sa tubig, 0 0.7 times yung gamma water which is 9.81 plus yung soil natin above point A ay 1 meter times yung saturated unit weight ng soil natin which is 20.59 no, galing dun sa kinumpute natin. So, yung total stress natin at A dito class ay 27.46 kilonewton uh, meter squared. So, pwede mong i-recheck yan class, ipindot mo sa calculator mo. So, yan talaga, no, 27.46 kN per meter squared. Now, for the pore water pressure, so, plus para dun sa pore water pressure, ang height na kailangan natin, again, yung height dito sa piezometer na i-attach dito sa point A. So, that will be 1 plus 0 0.7 at saka yung, eto, yung kailangan mong i-compute dito na, uh, kumbaga, head loss between this point, papunta dito sa point A. So, plus that will be 1 plus 0 0.7, tas yung computed na height dito class na kailangan natin is 1.5 over 2 times 1. Tapos multiply mo class dun sa unit weight ng water na 9.81. So yung pore water pressure at point A class ay 24.03 kN per meter square. So yan na yung hinahanap na pore water pressure. So actually, i-box mo yung mga yan kasi uh, pinapakalculate yan eh, no? isa-isa. So, i-box mo yan. Kailangan yun sa final answer. And then, para naman dun sa effective stress at point A, difference lang yan ng total stress at pore water pressure natin class. So, this will be 27.46 minus 24.03 equal yan class sa 3.43 kN per meter squared. So, yun yung effective stress at point A. Let's now proceed to point B. So, para dun sa total stress at point B, so, that will just be 0 0.7 times 9.81 plus uh, 2 meters times the saturated unit weight ng soil, 20.59. So, this will be 48.05 kN per meter squared. Now, for the pore water pressure dito sa point B, so yung kailangan natin na height class ay itong height na ita. Tama? So, itong height na to ay 2 plus 0 0.7 plus 1.5 times 9.81 lang. So, ang lalabas na pore water pressure at B ay 41.20 kN per meter squared. Now, for the effective stress at point B, difference lang yan ng total stress minus pore water pressure. So, this will be 48.05 minus 41.20. So, this will be 6.85 kN per meter squared. Alright, so okay na tayo dun sa letter A class. No, so mag-proceed na tayo dun sa letter B. So ang pinapanap sa atin sa letter B is yung upward seepage force per unit volume of soil. So na-derive na natin plus ito na yung formula natin plus dito is just I times gamma water. So kailangan nating isolve muna yung I. So para dun sa I natin, so head loss lang yan over yung distance kung saan mo kinuha yung head loss. In this case class, yung head loss natin between this point at this point ay 1.5 over yung distance class ng point na to at ng point na to, yan ay 2 meters. So, ito class ay 0 0.75. No, 1.5 over 2, yan ay 0 0.75. So, uh, simple na ito class. Yung pagkawin natin ng seepage force, ito lang yun, I times gamma water. So, substitute mo lang. 0 0.75 yung I natin at yung gamma ng water natin ay 9.81. So, yung hinahanap natin class na uh, seepage force per unit volume ay 7.36 kN per meter cube. So, kung i-multiply mo dito, class, yung uh, volume, okay, yung volume ng soil natin na nagko-contribute dun sa effective force, makukuha mo yung seepage force lang mismo. Tama ito kasi, class, seepage force ito per unit volume, ha, kaya may per meter cube sa ilalim. Alright, so ito na yung sagot for letter B. Alright.
That concludes our discussion for this topic. I hope that you learned. Thank you, class, for listening. God bless. Keep safe.